أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ويوم يعض الظالم على يديه يقول يا ليتني اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا يا ويلتا ليتني لم أتخذ فلانا خليلا لقد أضلني عن الذكر بعد إذ جاءني وكان الشيطان للإنسان خذولا بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Welcome back everyone to our daily Ramadan Reflections where each night we look into a different juz and we look into a different verse or verses from that juz and Alhamdulillah tonight we are in the 18th night of Ramadan and we just li finished listening to a few beautiful verses out of Surah Al-Furqan and they were verses 27 through 29 and in these verses Allah Azza wa Jal tells us and the day the wrongdoer will bite on his hand in regret he will say oh I wish I had taken with the messenger away again here Allah Azza wa Jal is describing to us an individual that on the day of judgment will be in such a state of regret that they will be biting on their hand. They will be biting on their hand from regret. And they will say, Oh, I wish I had taken with the messenger away. Or in other words, I wish I would have followed the path of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But why? Why we wonder, is this person in such a state of regret, so much so that they are biting on their hand? Well, Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in the following verse that they will say, Oh, woe to me! I wish I wouldn't have taken that one as a friend. I wish I wouldn't have befriended that individual. SubhanAllah, again, the picture is becoming a bit clearer now. But why? Why is it that they regret befriending this person? What did this individual do? Allah tells us in the following verse. The verse tells us, He led me away from the remembrance after it had come to me. And ever is Satan to man a deserter. SubhanAllah. Now, now it has become clear. Now we understand and we see the full picture here. Now we understand why is it that this individual was in such a state of regret that they began biting on their hand. SubhanAllah, this individual that they had befriended in this world had led them astray, had led them to the hellfire. Brothers and sisters, you know, growing up, I heard this, this phrase or this advice really over and over and over again. I know it's common in Yemeni culture. I don't know if it is elsewhere. And that is a sahib sahib. That your friend is the one who pulls or drags you 
again, I heard this constantly. Asahib sahib, asahib sahib, asahib sahib. Again, your friend is the one that pulls or drags you. However, what is it or where is it that this individual is pulling or dragging you to? Well, brothers and sisters, this friend of yours is either pulling you in either two directions, either towards good or towards evil, towards Jannah or towards Jahannam, towards paradise or towards the hellfire. And this is, this is why, of course, it is in our best interest to evaluate those around us, to evaluate those that we call our friends, to make sure and to ask ourselves, is this individual, is he or she pulling me towards Jannah or towards the hellfire? And alhamdulillah, of course, we still have the time to do so right now. We still have the opportunity to do this so that we aren't like this individual. So that we don't end up on the Day of Judgment regretting, befriending that person and we don't end up in such a state of regret that we are biting on our hands, wishing that we hadn't done so. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to surround us and our children with good and pious friends. Ameen, Allahumma Ameen. And as always, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the ability to take full advantage of this beautiful and blessed month. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, استغفرك واتوب اليك وجزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته